Pickups often get pegged as just being workhorses. Tough and rugged trucks meant for hauling heavy stuff around. But not all of them fit that mold. There's actually a pretty wild side to the pickup world, with trucks flaunting insane power, looks, and speed that seem totally at odds with mundane utility. And now most folks probably think of pickups as beasts of burden, replacements for the horses and oxen of yesterday, designed to help owners get stuff from point A to point B. And yeah, that's definitely a big part of why people use trucks. They need something that can haul equipment or materials for their jobs, or maybe they just like the lifestyle and want something more rugged than a sedan or SUV. But even with those practical uses, trucks today aren't strictly just rugged work vehicles. The comfortable interiors and decent towing capacities still allow for everyday livability too. And then there are the trucks that completely shatter expectations, souped up speed demons with power and style to spare. The truck world's got a wild side if you know where to look. But before that, subscribe for more uploads like this. 10. The Electric 90s, Ford F-150 Lightning. After the 1970s oil crisis and emission restrictions of the 1980s, the 1990s welcomed a new age of powerful trucks and SUVs. The Ford F-150 Lightning embodied this trend even if its first 1992 version only packed 280 horses. But by 1993, the Lightning morphed into a fierce street racer. Its newly enlarged five and four liter V8 engine roared with 360 horses, later upgraded to 380. This gave the muscular pickup a zero to 60 miles per hour time of about five seconds flat, as quick as many sports cars. The Lightning blended truck brawn with track-ready speed. 9. Chevrolet's equivalent, the 454 SS. The 454 SS badge has graced a lot of Chevy cars over time. Chevelle, Impalas, El Caminos, even Novus. But it wasn't till 1990 that it ended up on a truck. Engineers took a regular old short bed 1500 pickup and stuffed a massive 454 V8 under the hood only put out 230, 235 horses, but an enormous 385 pound foot of twist meant this plain Jane truck could peel out and disappear in a cloud of dust right quick. Eight, the pickup racer, GMC Cyclone. GMC decided to spice up their S10 pickup line in 1991 with a wild child they called the Cyclone. This odd truck didn't look like much at first glance, just a regular old S10 with some minor styling tweaks on the outside. But lurking under the hood was a turbocharged 4.3 liter V6, pumping out a raging 280 horsepower, mated to a four speed automatic transmission swiped from none other than the Corvette. With all that grunt flowing through a performance tuned all wheel drive system, this unassuming pickup could sprint to 60 miles per hour in just five seconds, quicker than a Ferrari back then. Needless to say, the Cyclone was an absolute monster humiliating sports cars and shocking unsuspecting drivers who made the mistake of trying to mess with the black sheep of the GMC family. And sure, with its firm truck suspension and almost non-existent cargo space thanks to that massive drivetrain, the Cyclone wasn't exactly practical, but this oddball pickup left a lasting impression as one of the wildest rides of the era. It may not have been able to haul much, but it definitely hauled ass. Seven, red hot Dodge Lil Express truck. Dodge has had some ups and downs over the years, but they've always been good at making cool muscle cars like the Charger and Challenger. And back in 1978, they came out with a pretty wild special edition truck called the Lil Express. It didn't have to follow the same emission rules as regular cars since it was technically a truck. So they stuffed a big five and eight liter V8 under the hood that made 225 horsepower, which was a ton of power for the late seventies. They added some stacked exhaust pipes coming out the back and mated it to an automatic transmission. This crazy little short bed Dodge pickup truck became the fastest thing on wheels that year. Dodge has a knack for flouting the rules and making overpowered machines. Six, 
very rare, Jeep Gladiator Honcho. Jeep pickup trucks have been around for a while, and the Gladiator name isn't new either. But the 2020 Gladiator created some buzz because it had been so long since the previous Gladiator model was available. Back in the 1970s, with slow auto sales industry-wide, the original Jeep Gladiator struggled too. In an effort to juice things up, Jeep introduced a snazzy graphics package on the Gladiator Honcho. And when equipped with the optional 6.5 liter AMC V8 engine, the Honcho was quite the formidable machine out on the highway, and unfortunately, sales remained depressed. And only about 1,500 Gladiator Honchos were produced back then. As a result, the few remaining examples command astronomical prices these days among classic car collectors. Five, car plus truck plus insane power, Ford Ranchero GT. The Ford Ranchero was like a two-headed monster, part practical truck for hauling stuff, part smooth riding car for comfortable cruising. But the Ranchero GT took this truck car mutate to a whole new level of crazy. Under the hood lurked the massively powerful Cobra Jet Phi 8 packing close to 450 untamed horses. For insurance reasons, Ford claimed 335 GP. But we all know there was a lot more bucking Bronco just waiting to bust loose. Driving this beast was no picnic. You needed some serious cowboy skills to wrangle all that power. Not many could hack it with this mechanical rodeo bull. Still, you gotta admire Ford for having the guts to build something so outrageous. The muscle car truck freak was definitely one weird experiment that stuck in people's memories. Four. Chevrolet Bucks Up El Camino, SS4, 54. When Ford came out with the Ranchero pickup built on a car frame in 57, it shocked everyone by actually selling decently. So Chevy followed suit a couple years later when they dropped the El Camino sporting their monstrous 4, 54 SS motor, and we're talking a 7-liter V8, putting down 450 horses on paper, with rumors floating around of variants making up to 500. Of course, one of those beastly El Caminos will cost you a pretty penny nowadays if you can even find one. I remember my cousin Tommy had a 69 El Camino back in high school. That thing was bad to the bone with Krager mags and a cowl induction hood. We used to cruise the strip on Friday nights looking for some action, if you know what I mean. We got into some trouble here and there, but nothing serious. Man, I miss that car. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is the El Camino was Chevrolet's gnarly response to Ford's Ranchero. Two legendary car trucks from a golden era of American automotive styling and performance. They just don't make them like that anymore. Three, sheer madness, Dodge Ram SRT10. The Dodge Ram SRT10 pickup is just entirely bonkers. They stuffed the massive Viper V10 in the body of a regular Ram 1500. Under the hood, that engine churned out a totally ridiculous 500 horsepower stock and way more with some minor mods. That is zero to 60 in the low five second range for a full size truck. Of course, the fuel mileage was atrocious, probably high single digits if you babied it. However, man, hauling that power in a practical package for only 45 grand, what a riot. Dodge went all out with the colors too, bright reds, yellows, even orange. No one was buying this thing to work. The SRT-10 was made just for hooning around and burning rubber. Gotta love it. Two, the uber luxurious Lincoln Blackwood. When Lincoln was like, yeah, we should make a truck too. They basically snatched a Ford F-150 and blinged that bad boy out to ridiculous levels. I'm talking pinstripes on the streets carpet in the truck bed, the kind of ride that only an English butler named Reeves should be cruising around town in. And now you feel me, at 52 stacks, this fancy Ford was not for just anyone. But if a brother had the cash to drop on one of these Lincoln Lux trucks, man, it was truck in heaven, took that hardy F-150 and made it smoother than butter on toast. I mean, practicality-wise, it was still just an F-150 at its heart. It could do all the truck stuff like haul lumber or whatever but the interior was on some next level richness 
with leather seats and wood panels and massagers probably. The point is Lincoln took what dudes love about Ford's trusted truck, kept all that utility, then dressed it to the nines so you felt like royalty while hauling dirt bikes around. The ideal ride for the gentleman trucker baller. You heard? One, the beast on the road, Ford F-150 Raptor. Well now, if I told you about some souped up truck with a massive three liter V6, putting out a whopping 450 horses through a fancy 10 speed transmission, blasting to 60 miles per hour in less than five seconds flat, you'd probably guess it was one of the 200 grand supercar deals. But nah, I'm talking about the Ford F-150 Raptor pickup here. This bad boy's been stomping around off-road with a full warranty since 2009, and people still can't get enough of the dang thing. Craziest factory truck around by a long shot. Heck, those power figures are straight up supercar territory, but the Raptor can haul stuff around while it tears up the trails. Killer combo, if you ask me. Ford knew what they were doing when they unleashed this beast. More than a decade later, and folks are still lining up to snag one, and I don't blame them one bit.